Hi everyone! Mary here at Espresso Press Design. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome. Hope you all had a nice holiday. Today we're going to do the um, pocket pouch. And um, I'm going to try a style so that I can. Um, I'm going to try a new style, so hopefully, um, hopefully it all works out. But either way, you'll learn how to make the pocket, and you the back is versatile. Just a little quick show and tell. Um, wanted to try this new wood carving technique to get a. Um, Christmas card I can live with. Thought I finally came up with a style to go with this paper. And I don't think I can use this embossing folder on the deboss side because the letters are backwards. <laughs> so, who knows if this is going out or not, but even the, I, I don't know if even the glitter glass is going to save it added some more stuff to the ones I created went to Dollar Tree because I'm having an extremely hard time finding making my sentiments work with these cards so um, I literally resorted to um, wrapping paper <laughs> but on the bright side Dollar Tree has a bunch of cute stuff they finally have some nice napkins <clears throat> this this particular one isn't put together yet but I spent a little time playing around with the napkins last night and this is uh, the newest little thing. I don't think I'm doing a kit this year. I'm going to do as much ephemera as I can though. And this is um, Angels in Blue. I mean, I just absolutely fell in love with these little angels. Uh, kind of, kind of in a primitive style. Um, I think they're so sweet and I only printed one page. This is on presentation paper. This is on regular paper, but the back will be vintage. I just, um, again, these bright colors are way out of my usual, but I just thought these little angels were so stunning. I had to try to do something with them. Okay. So we're doing the pouch, and this is from Pink Strawberries. I believe she called it Paper Pouches, but I'm not sure. I have two versions, and I'm going to make a third version. You'll need a 6x6 six six paper. I'm going to use cardstock. And then you'll need a four by whatever length you choose, depending upon how you decide to make the back. Um, this one is ten inches. This one is about. This one is five and a half, and it's open. This one obviously has a flap. And I'm going to try to do one today in matchbook style. So it's very easy. And I have this here to get you to remind you of something if you're using single sided paper. Let me just go over that quickly. If you're using single sided paper, which this was. 
this part will be white and you'll have to cover it if you desire and then either the back or the front I can't remember I think this is two together because this is also single-sided paper the inside of this front pocket is white I honestly can't remember how I did that but <laughs> it's double-sided now <laughs> so it's very simple you have your six by six and you're going to score at half an inch and one inch hopefully I'm in Oops, don't move. And then five and five and a half. And I'm going to turn mine and just do it half and one again. Now I would suggest using double sided paper if you can get it. And then you're going to turn your paper and score at two, <clears throat> two and a half inches. And I'll put this in the description and on the blog. And this horizontal line is going to be your only cutting line. So when you do this, just pretend this is double-sided paper, and then you turn, pay attention to what is happening, and then you turn, pay attention to what is happening as you're going to fold up your bottom pocket. So I would suggest, I finally did it right, I hope. If you have text, make sure it's going vertical. If not, just pay attention to your pattern because you're going to be folding this. Okay, and then this one. Um, this one. This one was four by ten and I scored at five and a half and five point seven five five and three quarters because I wanted to fit the hot chocolate in there. So this is ten inches. But this one I'm going to try today is twelve inches. And I'm going to score it at, I think, one, because I want a matchbook. It's going to be so hard to score over this glitter. And then I'm going to have to go up to six and a half. And six and three quarters because I just want a little quarter inch gusset there and then I'll see if I have to cut any off of this end and I'm just going to score all this and burnish it and then we'll cut and glue Let's see 
if this works. I think it will. Yes, I think it will. Okay, so I don't think I'll have to cut anything off there. Okay, so that's that's my back. And you don't necessarily need a back. So I'm just going to score this. This is my two and a half inch side. Fold. Only cut is going to be along this horizontal. This was so cool. I don't know how she comes up with these things, but she does. Now for the folding. You go in, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Fold on the second score. Bend back the first. Hold in on the second. Bend back the first. Hey Spencer, I didn't know you were in here. And then this. Wait a minute. <laughs> this should fold up like this. Let me go this way. Fold in. Bend back. I did that last time too. And this gets glued up in here. See the beginning of your little pouch. And then the back is the same. Fold in on the second. Then back on the first. And there you have your little pouch pocket. Make sure you're, you don't have anything sticking out the edge or when you glue it down. <laughs> don't turn it upside down like I just did. Okay, there's your little pouch. Now if you want to, and I do this, you can glue these little ends so it's more like a, a little more compressed at the bottom, but you still have enough, you still have the pouch effect. So I'm going to do that. I glue that up correctly and I will post her video as well I'm doing this these mostly on craft mostly because you can't you can't see the scoring very well when people use pattern paper okay so 
so that's just pressed down a little. To keep the bottom a little more flat. Okay. Then I guess might as well get this glued up here. I'll mat it. And you're going to glue this, these two sides. To your back. And then I will um, compress these a little bit here at the bottom. And then we'll assemble. So this would be nice. Um, I have two good ideas for this, aside from if you want to have a stuffed pocket. This would be good in the front or the back of a book. And I also think it would make a very nice um, this will hold a little notebook and I also think it will, um, it's what I think it's wide enough. Let me get a little journal here. See if a little tiny one signature journal will fit in this pocket. I think this one's too wide. Yeah, it is. I think this is wide enough to hold a journal, and this is wide enough def definitely to hold a writing board. And then you have a little, your journal's in a little package. I think that's super cute. So. When I did this one, I left this tiny little space at the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. I just left a hair because you don't have a... Um, let me pull this back a minute. You don't have a flap. Normally you would have a flap there at the bottom when you make a pocket where you want a little more room. But with this one you're going to be gluing. You're going to be putting your glue. The whole way across. So that's a little different. So I just gave it a little tiny space there. Make sure everything's nice and lined up. I don't know how I'm going to decorate this one. <clears throat> I felt like I felt like um, the glitter at least is kind of Christmassy. Then I think I 
got my stapler. Let me make sure this closes properly. Yes, it does. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. I got it right. Um, I can glue that, but let me just grab my stapler. Because I want it to be like a match book. And that way I don't have that odd... This one I put something along the bottom because it kind of bothered me. But I don't have that. I'll probably keep these in the middle. Because I have that bulk at the sides. Okay. Well, that went pretty well. And I have a new, another one. And again, I really do think you can fit a tiny little journal in there. Let me see, I did have a, oh, let's, probably, let's see if this will fit. No. I'm going to turn this into a little mini book here. I don't have any. I don't have anything at hand. It's pretty thick, but it will fit. I think you can fit a one signature in there. That's a little bulky because of the flower. But yeah, I think you could fit a little mini one signature in there. A little board. And you have yourself a little journal gift. This one, I'm going to do a belly band. I haven't begun decorating it yet. Uh, let me just see if I have something here that might resemble a thickness of a journal. No, I don't. I have my hot chocolate here. I know for a fact. Oh, geez, and you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to glue this back page. Okay, I guess we better do that. Yeah, glue your back. Don't forget to glue your pocket to your back. Or your page. <laughs> Don't get wonky on me. Don't get wonky on me. Okay. Just give this a minute. So I hope everyone is doing good. Hope you all had a nice, that's a little off. Look at that. Must have slid on me. Hope you all had a nice Thanksgiving. You know, we pretty much just Crashed. Spencer, what are you doing? We were so tired. We didn't even know if we were going to. That fits nicely. We didn't even know if we were going to do dinner or not. 
in the event my husband had to fly out. Yeah, that's a little off. Darn. Wonder if I can fix that some other some other way. But you can't tell that much, so simply because it's all cracked. It's not showing from the back, okay. It's just gonna have to do. Let me rescore these. So again, that's a six by six paper. You're gonna score it half an inch and one inch. five inches and five and a half inches. The back is four by whatever length you desire. My one is five, five and a half. My other one is 10 inches and this one is 12 inches and I scored at you want to score it at least five and a half to fit your hot chocolate, I think. Five and a half gives you enough breathing room. Okay. So I think those are very cute. I said that last time. Very cute. You can fit you can fit a ton of tea in these things. They hold a lot of stuff. Good for Happy Mail. And thank you, Pink Strawberries. She's always coming up with, even she did a gift card holder, and she makes the fold ten times simpler than most people would do it. <laughs> so she's always coming up with these simple folds and things like that, and I think it's just genius. One cut, two folds two pockets, accordion, which I love accordion style pockets, and um, she just does a great job. Okay, finally a video under half an hour. Have a great week everyone. I will um, see you next time. I don't know what we're doing, but we'll do something. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for your time. Have a great week. Bye.